What's up everybody? So last video we did order a pair of Moco Ones from eBay. We were able to test out their new authenticity guarantee system and it worked out well. We got the shoes in a timely fashion, did a nice little review, so that was good. But this video, a little different, talking a little bit more about bulk buying. I've done some bulk buying videos in the past. I showed the fours when I bought those. I did get some flints. I talked about it a little bit on the live show, but for this one, ordered 50 pairs of the Mocha Ones. Those came in. Now, originally, I was gonna give away that uh, eBay pair, but now that we got the bulk in, we can make that giveaway a lot sweeter. I wanna talk a little bit more about mochas. I wanna talk about fakes. I wanna talk about possible restocks. I also wanna talk about maybe even picking up several pairs for a good price online. So let's start off with the fakes, though. People are getting burned out there with this shoe. There's a lot of fakes for the Mocha Ones, and really, it's because the release was kinda weird. We had the election going on, even some of the stores weren't even open. Uh, of course, because of the virus and what's going on, foot action, Foot Locker champs did not get their pairs in, and a lot of people are waiting for restocks. What's gonna happen? And some of them are getting sprinkled here and there. Uh, some stores are getting them, but also if there's no release date, there's nothing to go through in the app, uh, people are just gonna be backdooring these. So don't count 100% on a lot of the stores getting them, but there's still some chances out there for a great deal. Uh, but with fakes, five things to look at right now. I wanna show you, I've been doing a lot of research on this shoe, especially before ordering these things. And looking on YouTube, there's a lot of good fakes out there, but small little details that you guys wanna look at so you don't get burned buying this shoe. Number one, start off with the smell. You know what a fresh pair of Jordan 1s smell like. Now the fakes, totally different. Have you ever felt and held a pair of fake Jordans in your hands? The smell is out of control and you don't have to go stick your whole nose into the shoe. Literally the whole shoe just smells like, people say it's like a cheap glue. I think it's kind of like a off rubbery kind of smell. Totally different than opening up that fresh box, getting that from Nike, sneakers app, things like that. Really, really strong rubber smell that goes throughout the shoe. You even get it on your hands. Even washing your hands, you just can't get that smell out. I'm in headache for the rest of the day. I can tell you right now, if you held a pair of fakes, and you can smell it, that's easily the first sign for a fake. Number two, let's talk about that hourglass shape. A lot of the fakes are really just straight. They don't even have these curves. The best way to tell is this top part. I mean, it's not straight. They should actually kind of like flare out on both sides of the shoe. And you can see right here on the fakes, a lot of them just too straight. We really want these things kind of flaring out and having like that big uh, padding and a nice look to it. That hourglass look is what you should have. Number three, let's look at the outside tag. The first thing you wanna check if there's MSRP tag on here, sometimes those get ripped off. Might be a fake, you wanna double check. As far as the colorway goes right here on the bottom, it should say sale black dash dark mocha dash black. It should say Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG and not TS, no Travis Scott. The made in China part, on the bottom line should also be in all caps. I've seen some out there with lowercase and uppercase and you wanna check that on the font. Some of the fonts are wrong as well. So little details on the tag. After looking at a lot of fakes online, different photos and videos, I noticed one thing. The sole has some weird painting issues. Instead of just a straight black, you can see right here in the sole, you see some of them, they kinda of spill up or they're not really painted straight. And I've seen a lot of fakes out there, multiple pairs of fakes with this issue. When you get them in hand, you could definitely tell and look at it and see it. On feet, you really have to be standing far away, you probably wouldn't notice. But when you see highly detailed photos, it's really obvious uh, that this black part right here in the sole is just not correct. And the last part is the back. We should get more of like a curve right here, not like a straight line. So you can even, like if I put my phone right here, put this in here, I should be able to see you right here in my eye in a nice little space uh, between the shoe and my phone. It should not be 100% straight. That would hurt too, uh, wearing that shoe. And a lot of the fakes have wrong cut to them. So you should also be able to feel like the layers going from every detail on the shoe and having that curve. So again, top five things we have, 
the smell, we have the hourglass shape, we have the tag on the box, we have the paint right here on the sole, and of course, we have the curves. Let's talk about restocks, and I believe a week, week and a half ago, Snipes did get their pairs in, and they went extremely fast. Everyone's waiting Foot Locker, Foot Action, Finish Line to get more pairs. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. So usually with new releases, the best time to pick them up from other sellers is right when they get them delivered, because that release day like let's say for example that Saturday people that got them from the mall they're gonna have the price up there I and mean, they were kind of up there for a while sitting there really at 365 375 close to $400 once people started getting them in we saw the price go down a little bit so this was between Tuesday Wednesday Thursday of that following drop on Saturday. Now on eBay, I was able to pick up a couple of pairs. I sent some offers for 290. Some people even took 275. With this new authenticity thing, you can't really lose because they have to send it to eBay to get it verified before you even get it. Send offers. I guarantee you there's some of these sellers that just want to make their money and move on. They're impatient. So this weekend might be our last chance to get it at the lowest price possible. Now the EU release got delayed. They were already supposed to be out, but instead they're going to come out this Saturday. So I feel like this could mess with the market a little bit and we might see some drop. I think anything less than 300 is a steal. People have been waiting for like them to go down to 260, 280. At this point, I do not think they're going to hit that low. All right, let's into the bulk let's hit the highlight reel Honestly, I feel like this is the Christmas shoe of 2020. Now, I'm not going to let mine go anytime soon, especially not this year for Christmas time, but let's see what they're at next summer, maybe even next fall. Guarantee you they're going to be 400 plus, 500 plus, maybe even more. Let's see where they go. But with the Jordan 11s this year being the Jubilee, just kind of disappointing. No one really spending that money, at least on 11s. They'd rather buy Mocha 1s or PS5s. My next bulk buy, Fire Red 4s. I'll do a video on that. Those come out, of course, later on this month. After that, I think the next good buy would be Carmine getting them less than retail if possible uh, but even then the sixes they kind of move up and down after that has to be the UNC ones great money on those I believe those are gonna hit at least 275 right when they come out and I don't see them going down at all extremely hyped right now everybody is getting ready for that release but not until February 2021 so instead of this video being nothing but highlight reels of the bulk buy I want to give away a couple of pair of mochas and make it worth your while thanks for watching last video and now this video and staying throughout the whole thing so here we go on YouTube all you got to do the first 100 comments all you have to do is spell out go out and get it and put your size right underneath that so type it out go out and get it and your size the size that you want to win first 100 comments only i'm also going to double check to make sure you are subscribed to my channel because why would i want to give away mochas to a non-subscriber but i'm also giving away another pair on ig go to hustler hacks on instagram hit that follow button and follow all the instructions you got a comment by leaving your size tagging a couple of friends and double entry if you put it in your story so giving away two pairs for now one on ig one on youtube and if you join us every single wednesday for our live show 7 p.m mountain standard time right here on the channel i'm also giving away jordans every single month but you have to tag me on all your finds 
Burlington, Ross, Marshalls, getting out there and finding different sneakers to resell. Tag me on them. We go through them every show, choose a couple of people, and you have a 1 in 24 chance in winning a Jordan Retro. I've given away Bread 11s, I've given away Flints, I've given away 12s, I've given away Mochas. Join us every month. Thanks for watching guys, join the giveaway and I'm gonna talk more about bulk buying next year and cover more of that in my videos. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Go out and get it.